Hello everyone, this is Raquel Rock. Thank you once again for tuning back into my channel. I hope all is well with you and yours. And today I made some mozzarella sticks. Now I've had mozzarella sticks, of course, time and time again. I'm so scared of my glass sitting right there. But this is my first time, you know, trying my hand of making the mozzarella sticks. Um, the sauce that I use, um, I made some more of the sauce that I used in my um, last steak video that I made. I'll make sure I put all of the um, detached little video, I mean, attached those video links as well. I'm gonna move my little drink over here because I'm so scared that it's sitting up so high. But the uh, <laughs> the anatomy of my drink, you know, I always put the crushed ice on the bottom, and then I have some fresh lemon juice. Then I'll put the bigger cubes of ice, and then I topped it this time with Sprite. And I have, um, I'll make sure I'll put in the pictures. I think this one was the strawberry mango or the strawberry apricot. I think strawberry apricot, um, Red Bull. And of course garnished it with this a little fresh strawberry. But like I said, um, and then I also made a shrimp pizza. And so what I'll probably do, because I know in my camera span, you can't see the whole thing or both of them at a time. But as always, I do have um, some videos or pictures and clips of all of that. So uh we don't forget to like subscribe turn on your notifications and if you'd like to leave a comment even if it's just to say hi i will say hi back so let's take a look at those pictures so get into that so we can get back into this because i'm ready to eat I put the mozzarella sticks in one of the cheese sticks and mozzarella sticks I was like because you know you want it to be to keep it warm enough so you can have that excellent cheese pool because I don't know about you all I love a good cheese pool but then trying to set up and get everything together and keep it warm it's kind of difficult but I did want the main thing I wanted to make sure I have the crust on there and just kind of do it because I didn't want it to explode um so let me just start with that and I'm gonna get into I've got to um, get me a camera so I can get a wider screen and just have, you know, a studio space to set everything up so you can see, like, the whole table. So this sauce, I mean, it was so good I made with the steak sauce. Um, I'm mean, sorry, the sauce that I made for those steak subs that I did on my last video. Like, when I had the Asian kind of style and then um, with the wasabi mayo. 
and the other one I did had kind of like the Italian tomato base and spicy. So I said, let me go ahead and make that again. So that's the recipe I use for my dipping sauce. Well, let's see. It's cool, but awesome. Oh my gosh. I don't know how much with cheese pool right now. But it's very delicious. When I tried one when I was making it, to test it out, excellent cheese pool. But by the time I came up here, I just have a little time before I have to start getting ready for work. But I wanted to do this. You know, I will. I will say, I can tell these definitely will warm well. I will probably put them in the toaster oven or the oven. I'm going to use the microwave. Because you want to keep, I mean, look at that crust. I love that crust and that crunch. And they were, I mean, I did, I have a little bracelet and magnet. It's like growing every, I mean, growing, grabbing everything. But you can see where the melty, where it was melting everything. So it did have a wonderful cheese pool because I tested it out. Oh, we have a little bit, a little bit. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, I may just do a video when I warm these up. I'll just do a little maybe um, in my community tab. But it did have a great cheese pool. I promise you it did. <laughs> but um, Those layers of flavoring, like when I cook, I love to season. Don't over season, but each layer, like when the, um, the dredging station, it comes together so well in this sauce. It's just so good. It's spicy and flavorful and everything. All right, let me get into this, um, I just have pizza of sorts. But yeah, I'm gonna have probably come back after hours and maybe go live for a minute when I'm get a chance to rewarm these so you can see I mean that beautiful cheese pool so let me get into this oh my gosh so I, I cut it so it'll be easier for me to eat here so you know what I don't know if I should take this brace off because it's really hitting the metal and everything so you won't know what time it is right Is so good. Mm -mm -mm. And then I know y'all probably like you already said that it's the layers of the flavoring. Everything from you know the crust and um well the crust oil of course I use um um flour tortillas. And I, I don't know if I put that in there. I was decided whether or not how I edited this. I did use um two. I need to see that two flour tortillas for that extra crunch and to hold up, so it'll be able to hold up all the flavors. So having all this savoriness, the nice um brightness that the olive oil gives um well not brightness but you know gives that it, olive oil just gives a great flavor to anything. Having that wilted spinach and having the richness of the cheese, the pesto and all of that. And then the brightness of tomatoes and the fresh onions that come in there. And that wonderful crunch. A sip of this beautiful drink here, and it's so pretty. Look at it, it's kind of heavy. I don't want to take a chance of putting it too close to the camera. We don't, we don't waste everything. Oh, that's so light, and especially when you have all these things that are so rich not over seasoned, but very rich in flavor to have something light with this citrus and the ice. Perfect pairing. Again, this is Raquel Rock. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your likes, subscriptions, and viewing. And um, I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn your notifications. And if you'd like to leave a comment, 
even if it's just to say hi i will say hi back if you have any suggestions and also don't forget to check out the community tab as well as my other social media platforms i'm still new on all of this and getting stuff together but you know whether it's facebook tiktok um instagram so once again thank you and until next time i'm martinet I mean, I was coming back. I was going to try this again. <laughs>